Hello everyone and welcome back to another Thriftmas rendition of Shiny Bright Doggo. We just got out of the thrift store. How was it Janine? It was fun. It was good. We found some stuff. We, we just, found, oops sorry. I don't know. It was Christmassy. It was Christmassy. We found some good stuff. So we're going to head into Unique in Plainfield, North Plainfield, New Jersey. One of our favorite spots. See what they have and uh, bring you guys along as always. Let's go. Janine, if this is a person's first time watching, uh, what should they know about us? Um, we love Christmas, especially vintage Christmas. We love Halloween. We mostly collect and sometimes we resell. We dabble in reselling. We dabble in a little reselling. No. Mid-century, yeah, we kitsch, love mid -century retro. Stuff. We give you guys some tips as to what to look out for if you're also on the hunt. So uh, yeah. yeah, let's head in. This is so fun. I don't know if it's a TV lamp or a planter. If you guys know how to tell, definitely let me know. It is $10 though. And our colors though are 25, 50 and 75% off. So pink is 25% off making this 750. I think that's really cool. And also here's Dumbo, really cute Dumbo Mark Japan. Let's see if we can get this Mark Japan. So he's probably from like the seventies, early seventies. He just has a really nice paint job and he is also four dollars with a dollar off making him three which really isn't too bad if you're into him i really like this though even for a decor decorative piece it's really cool i always check the tablecloths in hopes of finding vintage christmas or holiday linens and look what i just came across guys a little hard to show on camera hold on a second this is a vintage um apron and look it still has the original tag on it it has all these ornaments and Merry Christmas and Happy New Year in different languages and it's three dollars and not only that there was another one I love this one also has the original tag from Target $1.88 with these wonderful pockets and the original tag I think this is from like the 70s if I had to guess um, but I think I might just have to pick up both of them because they are brand new. Usually a lot of the times you find these with stains and these just look absolutely amazing. How exciting. I got a lot of stuff in this bag and I can't find Laura here. So I had to grab one of the bags and, and uh, run the bags off of the shelf and, and carry my stuff in it because I don't know where she is with the cart. But I'm finding a lot of cool things that I want to show her. Wow, look at this old Jiminy Cricket. It's an old tag. He's only $2.99. And I'll see a year. Made in Korea. Probably from the 80s. Um, that's really cool. He's in great condition. These look like old blocks. Guys, this is like a $20 planter. This is a collectible Halloween planter. It's missing a sticker, but it is marked Rel Poe for $2.99. This is from the mid-century or maybe early 70s. We have this one. Um, Janine found it maybe a year ago. And I just found another one. Oh my gosh, how exciting. She is so cute, this little jack-o'-lantern face. She has a tiny chip right there, but she's in great condition, wow. This is very 70s, all plastic, candy cane, maybe early 80s. I bet some of you had grew up with these. They're just so festive and fun. Look guys, there looks like there's a little, there's a good one in there. See that Santa peeking through? And there's a flock Santa. Oh, there's some little cotton spuns. This might be a good pickup. It's $3. I'm going to have to look carefully and see what kind of condition they're in and how many there are. But this might be something fun to open up with you guys. So make sure you stick around to the end to see if I actually did end up picking this up and what's inside. She stuck out to me right away, guys. She looks like one of those like whole towered angels that are really collectible. At first, I thought she was one. Um, she has a chip on her nose which is too bad, but these angels with like the metals and the foil wings and the porcelain heads are pretty collectible, usually from the mid-century, but this one's throwing me off a little bit because of this plastic in between and also because of this ribbon. See that thick um, 
almost twine ribbon. That's something you see on like 70s and 80s pieces. So while I think this is vintage, I don't think it's from like the 50s to the 60s. I think this is early 70s. It's still a really nice piece for a collector or somebody who wants to, you know, start a vintage collection. Um, and I would actually consider picking it up if it wasn't for that chip on her nose. So just because she's not like super mid-century and not in pristine condition, I'm going to leave her behind, but it's definitely a great piece for somebody who is a collector. Oh my God, I just noticed this wreath. How cute. Got a cord stuck in it, okay. $3, how kitschy is that? This is like 70s, 80s for sure. Got a little Santa there. That's really cute. Oh, look at this. Yeah, it's cool. Made in China, but it's really cool. That is really cool. Well, which containers? So, how's it gone? It's going really good. I can't stop finding cool stuff. This is a 2008 Little Pet Shop pocket organizer. Love it. Goes for about thirty dollars. Thirty dollars. Yeah. Wow. Then I found a dollar ninety-nine slammers for Pogs. That one's cool. It's really cool stuff in here. And it's a uh, 25% yeah, off? Yeah, pink is 25% off. Fun. And I've been finding really cute little pet shops. You mean My Little Pony? My Little Pony. Like this one is from 2004. Cute. And then I have a bag of cool stuff. Oh my gosh. I think you'll also be impressed with my finds too. Ooh, How do you feel about this that? lamp? It works. It's. I think it's from the 70s. And it's cute. I like it. I think it's sort of cute too. I'm sort of digging it. Maybe 60s, 70s. If you guys know, let me know. I think it's 70s. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It's, it's, only, it's only $4. Great price. Right? Yeah. For a desk? I thought it was really cute. And then I wanted to show you on camera. I wanted to show you these. Oh, I see something down there. Oh, you see that? I see something down there. What are you referring to? Um, I'm referring to... Maybe that, this? That. She's really cute. She's the one you found. I know, but she might have a cuter face. You like, think? I think they're exactly color. the same. The oh. color is a little bit different. The paint job? Yeah. She's it's cute. cute. Good job. Thank nice you. With how much? How much? Um, four dollars. Three dollars. I paid ten for mine. You paid ten for yours at Goodwill. Yeah. So. I mean, she had a floral arrangement in her little hat, but you that's know. true. I mean, nice. But like, look at these. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Brand new with an old Target tag. Oh, those are so nice. Isn't that fun? There's yeah. two. There's two different ones. So let's keep looking. Look at this. Look, Janine. How cute. Little Santa in a flock sled. Only 99 cents. Well, I love the little snowman in the back. I know what that means. You gotta get it. I don't know. He was attached to reindeers at one point. I know people uh. would like love to get this and would be very upset if i put him back on the shelf but we just have so much and i have so much to sell what do you think i think i might have to leave him behind he's leave broken him. leave him for someone else i think i'm gonna leave him for someone else sorry guys but he is definitely cute he's definitely a great score for 99 cents janine found a bunch of stuff she wanted to show me she said Cute little Jiminy Cricket. How oh, cute! He has this tag. tag. Made in Korea, so like 80s. 80s, 2.99. He's cute. He's got a little. Need to fluff out his fur a little bit. Yeah, I'm gonna do. I didn't look him up yet, but isn't he cute? He is cute. I found, like I said before, My Little Ponies. Um, which one is specifically this one? It's one of the babies. Oh, how cute! I love it. Oh, I have a soft spot for them. <laughs> little bag of pink ponies for three dollars. Not bad. Not bad. Yeah. Oh, what is this? This is a tree nanny, and I guess it lets you know when to water your tree, which is very um, important if you have a live tree. <laughs> That's true. Um, yeah, and it's sealed, and it sells for like twenty. I'll put a little thing on the screen here. Twenty dollars. That's a that's Pretty a good sell right now. A... Throw it up on eBay right now. Yep. Yeah. Hmm. These from like the 70s, 80s. Cute. Thought they were cute. Yeah. Wanted to show you. 
This I thought was interesting. I thought like maybe we could use it. It's like this weird like Christmas tree outlet plug. So there's like multiple outlets that are close together. Oh, that It'd is really good for bowl molds in the house and stuff. How much distance between each thing? Well, this is. I wonder. It's only. We could open it actually. Oh, pretty, pretty decent. A few feet. Yeah, it's probably like two feet. It's an interesting concept. You know. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Maybe. Thought maybe we could get that. I want to look this up. This oh is so wow. Cool. It's a Jeep. Oh cool. Yeah. Um, I used to have a Jeep, so I'm a little. Uh, what is that? I favor it a little bit. Partial um, to a Jeep? Yeah. That's cool though. I wonder it's how old cool, that is. It's really, there must have been some sort of label there to like rust it off. Yeah, it sat outside for a while. $10. Yeah. yeah that's but, cool though. I'll look it up and see what it was. Yeah. It's pretty cool though. So guess what? What? I ended up getting the bag <laughs> for two ninety nine. dollars <laughs> Is could... anyone surprised? No. I couldn't help it because there are some really good things in here. You know, you have your little wooden things made in Taiwan from the 70s and 80s, which is- Which, which I'm a- which I'm a big fan of. Which Janine <laughs> is a big fan of these. Oh. <laughs> Not judging. But, you know, there were really a lot of good things in here, which I'm really surprised about. These little birds made in Japan are really cute. This one's missing the tip of its wing, but we actually have it. Um, so we'll be able to glue it back. He's really cute. There's actually three of them. Here's the first one. Here's the second one with a little red hat. <laughs> and here's the third one with a little green hat. These are really cute. They're flocked. They're in pretty decent condition. And because they're all flocked, these might be like late 60s, early 70s. Was excited to see little flock Santa. He's always a great one to find. I was really surprised to find this Santa. How cute. He's just a classic, probably made in Japan. He might be missing, yeah, he's missing his feet, which would have marked him Japan, but... We can put little feet on him and he'll be really cute in a display. I was really excited about her. She's just so cute. She's marked made in Japan. And she's in actually great condition, surprisingly, for being shoved into that bag. She's made of paper, so usually their hats are dented in. Her little friend here, which we found, is a little busted up. She was sort of falling apart. She's like disconnected. And you could tell right there that she was holding something. And what was she holding? Well, this one was holding an accordion, so I thought she probably was holding a guitar. And I searched and searched in the bag, and at the very bottom, I found her there little guitar. Is. So we'll be able to glue that with a little bit of Elmer's glue, hopefully, and make her brand new with her little friend. So I was really excited to find these two. And then I found Janine and I. <laughs> Yeah, you did. <laughs> this is us going to the thrift store. Yep, here we are, it's off like, to the thrift store. Looking cheeky. In our little Christmas outfits. Uh, little faces are made out of like, almost like a stocking, like a pantyhose. Yeah, yeah. That's and what they I was are thinking. marked Japan. I've never seen these before. Those are really cute, and I'm really, really happy that you got them. Yeah, really fun. So, I mean, for $3, I think we found some really great things. And these little guys, if Janine doesn't uh, say she has to keep them, They'll go back to the thrift store, redonated or given to maybe my family. I found actually uh, quite a bit of things. I was surprised. Um, some for my own collection, but a couple to resell, just like this tree nanny, which is something I've never seen before. But it makes a lot of sense. And like, if we had a live tree, I probably would keep it. But I am reselling this. This is a, it's what it is. It's a nanny for your tree um <laughs> it watches the water level for your live tree which is very important if you do have a live tree to make sure that you water it um so when your tree is low on water it plays i think jingle bells that's fun and um yeah so this resells for about 20 dollars, and i have it up on ebay right now i only bought it for i think it was like 2.99 and if you guys are interested our ebay links are in our description of this video i don't think i captured this but i found this bag of little things, very strange little bag of toys. But inside of it, I noticed something pretty cool. And I've already opened the bag. And what was inside was this little Game Boy. I can't believe you found this. This is so cool. Tell us about it, Janine. So 
I haven't, it needs new batteries, so I haven't been able to see if it works, but this is like a tiny little Game Boy that you can kind of like, I think play a little bit of like a game, but it's a keychain. forgot to mention, it's a keychain. And it's from the 90s, and right? And it's, yeah, it's from 1998, and on the back it says Super Mario Brothers, so I believe that's the game that it plays, and I looked online, and there's other ones that play different games, but I'm really excited this one has Mario. So if it works, I, I think I'm going to have to keep it, but it can resell for like $20. Crazy. That's right? so awesome. This caught my eye because it's a Littlest Pet Shop handheld electronic device. You can see my reflection in it. <laughs> <laughs> and I've never seen that before, but I know Littlest Pet Shop has quite a following and people collect them. So I grabbed it and I looked it up and surprisingly enough, this is... um collectible there's not many that go up for sale on ebay but a few that i have seen sell for like 25 dollars plus shipping wow which is pretty impressive for a toy i think it's from 2008 what is it did you say yeah. i'm sorry is it like a oh yeah it's like i don't quite okay here's the thing i don't quite know what it does it was listed on ebay as a um organizer like or, a Palm Pilot. Yeah, I think it's supposed to be like a play on a Palm Pilot and like a little game. And I know that there's a calculator on here, but I, I did test it. I, I think I have batteries right now in it. Whoa. And it turns on. Oh, that is so cute. It's very um Tamagotchi-esque. Yeah, and it has a little stylus. So you can press things and play things. Um, that is so cute. You could put that under yeah. the tree for me. <laughs> okay yeah um so i thought that was a pretty cool find it works which is great and i will have this listed on ebay unless laura really wants it for christmas <laughs> i know we don't come across it a ton but we really do love to find 80s and 90s retro toys and janina i know you're always on the lookout for things like this i am it's some of my most favorite things to find and i have a couple right here my Little Ponies. Yep, so we have two bags. One was $3.99, 50% off, and one was $2.99, full price. So I picked up those two bags of ponies for these two ponies in particular. These are little um, 1984, I believe, Gen 1 ponies. So cute. And G1 is referring to Generation 1. Yeah. The first ponies that came out, right? Yeah, the first ponies, um, the first mold or model. I thought these were really cute. And then there was one more that is more recent, still, I wouldn't quite say vintage, is this one. I think she has a very pretty face and paint job. And I thought the little bells were cute and reminded me of like bells for Christmas. So I thought she could be really cute in like a little like winter blue and pink display. Not that I'm doing that, but maybe one day. <laughs> Hint, maybe one day. <laughs> this right here is why I do like multiple rounds at the thrift store. I don't know. I thought you saw this, Janine. No. I don't know. I didn't see I anything swear. you found. I swear <laughs> I was down that aisle twice before I saw this. And I cannot believe she was just sitting there. This is a mid-century, probably like 60s, early 70s, Relpo Halloween planter. And we have found her before. Janine has found her with her sticker. Mm -hmm. And... What's nice about this Relpo planter is that it's marked. So even if the sticker's gone, in this case, you still know that it's a Relpo planter. But anyway. And you know what's even better about that planter, too? I was going to say, you found yours for 10 I found mine for $3. Yeah, that's <laughs> fantastic. It's fantastic. The one you found was a Goodwill out in Pennsylvania. And it had a floral arrangement inside that's of it. That's true. So maybe they marked it up for the floral arrangement that was in it. But mm -hmm. she's just in fabulous condition sought after for sure for a Halloween collector and can go for 20 to $30 on eBay, maybe even higher during the Halloween season. But of course, we're going to welcome a pumpkin even after Halloween. Because of you course. know what we say here? No, no pumpkin, pumpkin left behind. behind. Especially with that cute face. I was so, 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 so excited to see these guys. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. I found these two brand new, never used, mid-century, maybe early 70s Christmas aprons. They're so cute. This is the first one. It's one of the half aprons, so it's shorter. But look at those pockets. And what I love about this is the original tag from Target, only $1.88. Because it's not like, I don't know. I just feel like it's early 70s because of that price. Mm. Um, but look at that original tag. Like, you wouldn't see that in the 80s, you know? So this, to me, dates it 70s, 
late 60s. If you guys have a better idea than I do, I'd love to know. I just love the history behind pieces and like learning when things were actually from. So that sort of excited me. Um, but love those pockets. Love the graphics. It's in great condition. A lot of the times you find aprons and linens um, stained because they were used in the kitchen. So to find one in brand new condition was so exciting. I paid $3 for each of these. You know, Laura, I really can't pick between the two. I like them so much. They're both so nice. Let me get closer on here. The colors are fantastic still. They're not faded. They've never been washed. I love, you know, Happy New Year, Merry Christmas in different languages. This one also has the original tag. What an amazing score. I think this is my favorite score out of our trip today. And we hope you had fun joining us. We had a great time out at the thrift store. We found some great things, I think. If you are enjoying our content, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Give us a like and hit that notification bell. Not just because it's the holiday season, you know, jingle bells, sleigh bells ring, but also so that you know when our newest videos come out. We hope you enjoyed. And as always, thanks for joining us. See you next time. Bye. Bye.